Well, happy Wednesday. You know what that means. It is new comic book day, my favorite day of the week. For those of you that are new here, my name is Joel Prentice, AKA the GI Joel. And I love comic books so much that I quit a full-time job to start my own comic book shop so I can share my love of all things comics with all of you. And we're gonna start this week's episode off with some exciting new comics from Marvel. First, we have Captain America, Iron Man, issue number one. This comic book was pretty straightforward. We got Captain America, Iron Man, Hydra, Shield, and plenty of other heroes to go around. If you're looking for a straightforward action-packed comic book with the team up between two of Marvel's best-known characters, this is going to be a great read for you. There's a ton of action, a ton of explosions, it's kind of everything that you would want from just kind of a straightforward action comic book. This is Captain America and Iron Man teaming up to take down the remnants of Hydra, specifically Veronica Eden. For those of you that aren't familiar, Veronica Eden played a big part in Falcon and Winter Soldier where she was discovered basically to be a Hydra double agent within S.H.I.E.L.D. But if you don't know much about her, don't don't worry, this book will explain everything that is important to her character. Captain America Iron Man issue number one came out today and is available on gtxcomics.com. Devil's Reign issue number one. So we are kicking this event off in strong fashion and I'm super excited to see what Zdarsky and Chiquetto have in store for us. So all of these things that have been building between the Stromwind family and Fisk, between Daredevil and Fisk, it's all coming to a head. And this event feels like it's gonna be the culmination of a lot of things that have been building within the Marvel Universe since the King and Black event. Like what's been happening with the teen heroes and champions and things that have been happening in Daredevil, things that have been happening in Spider-Man. It's all coming to a conclusion, it feels like, in this event book. Basically, Wilson Fisk has made it illegal for superheroes and vigilantes to act within the city of New York. And there is fear that this will lead to a second almost hero registration act type event like we had in Civil War. Basically, now that all heroes are outlawed and are vigilantes, they are ignoring the law in many cases and continuing to do what they do best, and that's helping people. This event looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm excited to see where it goes. From DC Comics, first up we have World of Krypton, issue number one. This is a great story for fans of Superman or really if you're a fan of anything Kryptonian. We're going to need to do a little bit of an exploration and dive into all things Krypton as well as the House of L. Now the art did take me a couple of pages to kind of get behind, but once it grew on me in this book, I really liked it. Basically, things on Krypton are not going well. There seems to be some distrust in in, you know, House L, as well as in the government and system of Krypton, and something is happening to the wild animals of Krypton that we don't quite understand. This book feels like it's going to be a lot of fun, like a political action thriller, so if you want to learn more about Krypton, if you want to learn more about House L, be sure to pick this one up. Superman, Son of Kal-El, Annual, issue number one. So this looks to be setting up the next story arc for the Superman, Son of Kal-El series, and I personally am really excited to see what it brings. One of the most iconic rivalries in all of comics is Lex Luthor. Luther and Superman. And now we're going to see that same dynamic play out between John Kent and Lex Luthor. And I think it's a really interesting parallels that they've drawn between the relationships that Lex Luthor has with either of the Supermen. And it's mainly focused around the symbolism of a chess game. And yet another solid story from Tom Taylor. I've been enjoying his Superman run. It's been a lot of fun and I'm excited to see what this next arc has in store for us. This is going to be a good entry point for this series as annuals typically are. One Star Squadron, issue number one. And this book is my pick of the week. This was a lot of fun to read. It definitely felt like a tongue-in-cheek commentary on like the gig economy or the share economy and how things are kind of revolving around apps and that's how people get paid a lot now. And it had a great slice of life element that I personally love seeing in superhero comic books. And the premise around this one is not all superheroes make the money of a Superman, of a Green Lantern, of a Wonder Woman. You know, a lot of them have to work for a living. And this isn't even about like the B-list characters of the Marvel Universe. This is like, what do the C and D list characters do to make a living. This was a lot of fun to read. I am really excited to get the next issue. This story is specifically focusing around Red Tornado and his interactions with other lower level superheroes and kind of being like a manager of them. It had a great kind of office like feel to it. It definitely was a lot of fun and I'm really excited to see where this series goes. Well, that is it for this week's new comic books. You know, let me know down in the comments. What are you reading? What are you going to be picking up today? I would love for a chance to connect and talk comics with you a little bit more. As always, all of these books and many more are available at the description down below at gtxcomics.com. Now be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss any future updates or episodes, and I'll see you later.